What's up, fam? I want to show you how easy it is to just add a product, and uh, it, it really is easy. And this is going to be a really short lesson, but I want to make sure that you know the difference between the different uh, steps. So, this opt in, this, this first one, if uh, we were to select a pre uh, template and um, try and add a product, we can't because it says uh, automation here. And it's an opt-in. We need to have an actual uh, cart or where it says order here to actually add a product. So to add a product, we just clicked here. We add product. And since we've already set up our Stripe account, we just select Stripe. We can set up uh, a subscription, but you need to do that through Stripe itself um, and then link it into um, our payment processor. But if we're only doing a one-time purchase, say for um, a one-time um uh, an info product or whatever the case might be and it's not a subscription then we don't need to send anything up through Stripe and all we do is just click once we name it like um, superhero toolkit and our software is going for $27 um, it's actually $27 a month but I'm just showing you an example and then if we go here um, and we view this and we add all of our information um, the superhero toolkit shows up for 27 um, and it shows up here um, in uh, the summary. But we definitely, say for instance, we want to add this bump. Right now there's no bump, so it's not updating. So let's let's actually add that. And let's go to products. Let's create a bump offer. And let's call it organic traffic secrets. Organic traffic secrets. And that's actually going to be our social media superhero blueprint, really. But let's just call that uh, a $7 product because that's what our uh, superhero um, social media superhero blueprint is. It's only $7. And if we review this again and we refresh this, um, let's see if it works real quick. Uh, so we didn't actually see how it went up here <clears throat> for an option. We actually didn't set the bump offer. So uh, we need to do that again. I'm just showing you examples. Um, we, we edit it and we go to uh, one time and we don't click that. We actually set it as a bump offer. So uh, this little option down here is a bump. We'll save and close it. We'll review, <clears throat> we'll opt in again, and when we click on this, it adds it to that bump, as you can see. So that is how you set up a bump offer, and that's how you set a, uh, a regular offer. Um, two different things, but very powerful to increase your cart value. The final step, or there's actually two, um, is actually adding a uh, one-time upsell. And we'll just add OTO here. We'll put it after our sales page because a uh, one-time offer is usually after they purchase something. So we'll go to sale, we'll click on one-time upsell, and we'll just select the template. And then uh, go ahead and add product, and we'll call this, uh, actually we'll just call it a subscription. Uh, we'll just call it a one-time purchase. And this will be our one-time purchase. And we'll make it from $99, and then we'll save and close. So what that does is they go through this product page, they order something, and then they go into this next page after they submit. And when they do that, um, if they click on this button right here, it'll actually order uh, Picasso. It'll actually order this with a one step. Uh, sorry, with a one click. They don't have to put in their information again. And it's already done. So super powerful to increase your cart value. I have it on a lot of my funnels. So I just want to show you how to set that up and how to add uh, your products in both a bump offer and an OTO and then just a regular sales page. The final uh, thing that you can actually add is a uh, downsell. And I'll show you actually how to do that. And we'll take this, we'll go to sales, and we'll go to 
uh, one click down cell and we'll just select that and move it up here and then uh, actually we'll just to make it complete confirmation page I know I spelled it wrong but we'll be uh, going and clicking on uh, confirmation and we'll just click this and we'll add it here so as you can see <clears throat> when they click on this and uh, this is the the one step uh, sorry the ones uh, one time order form if they click no it'll it'll not charge their credit card and it'll move them to uh, the next page which uh, We've already added a uh, purchase here. The next one would be the down sell. And to kind of give you an example of that, um, we can click on, I really want this too. And that will automatically charge them if they say, no, uh, I don't want this product. It will bring them to this uh, down sell. And then, uh, or if they actually do the upsell, it, you just have to link it correctly. And then, uh, for uh, the confirmation page, it just is a confirmation of all their products that they ordered. So that's how you set up your uh, products for ClickFunnels. Makes it super easy. Um, you, the major things you need to uh, understand are uh, it has to say order OTO page or OTO downsell so that you can add your products. Uh, if you are doing a subscription, you need to set it up both in Stripe and in ClickFunnels. But if you're doing a one-time uh, purchase, then you can just set it through Stripe. And um, Stripe and uh, ClickFunnels talk to each other, so you'll never miss payments or anything like that. So uh, that's how you set it up. I hope this was helpful, and move on to the next section.